You're welcome. Yes, now, sir. I wanted to start with a song today, if you guys would indulge me. Okay. If you live in Married Street, here are the people and topics you would meet. You know that one, yeah? <laughs> Do you know it? Do you know where it's from? Sesame <laughs> Street. Oh no, it's wrong. God. Pigeon Street, actually. Pigeon Street. Yeah. Really? But we, we have a topic, the, the brothers around being married and all of that. That was mm. that was a very interesting uh, conversation okay. you had yesterday on radio. Yes, mm. I actually had the, the conversation on radio yesterday. However, for the benefit of those who didn't listen, which is why you should listen to me, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to quickly give the background story. So it started with um, Tua Savage. Um, at um, a while Concert performing, yeah, mm -hmm. she just um, took a break to have a conversation with her fans, and she says, "Oi, I'm not looking to, you know, get hooked up with a rich man. Mm -hmm. uh, or I'm not looking for a guy that has money. She's more about the connection, the love, and mm -hmm. all between mm -hmm. them and all." And then uh, actress uh, Senior Kapo then says, "Oi, <laughs> you can't tell me like she was like it's affects it's unhealthy." Mm. For in, in a really, it's uh, an unhealthy relationship. Makes if it the competitive. Man, yes, if mm. the man happens to earn, earn lesser. less, and so different people had different opinions, and it was going. There, there were quite a lot, lots of back, mm. and, back forth. and forth. But where I focused on the most was who earns more. Is it really a big deal mm. in a relationship? Mm. Is it really? Is yeah. it? I want to get my Steve Harvey on, but maybe after you. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I'm, I'm wondering if. Uh, that then it then applies that because uh, we always, especially in the religious in religious terms, they say you know the man is represents the head of the home, right? The head of the family, yeah. and obviously he has a lot of responsibilities. Indeed, but does it then equate to only money? Mm. Is it only with money that, that he's able your to authority. perform mm. your duties? Mm. Does that really make the only reason why you'd be the head? So, uh, I'm I'm thinking. Um, it then plays back on um, the issue of how women behave when mm. they are earning more. more. I'll well, tell you something. I, I yeah. Let me tell you what I, that, but, yeah. Let me tell you what I think. Steve First Bobby, off, yes, thank you very much. Let me know how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> Marriage is a partnership, whether you like it or not. From time immemorial up until now, that's what it should be. But the way culture has conditioned people, yeah. it has made it, it skewed everything. Yeah. That we think that money defines us, money defines authority or my duties. Yeah. If you do earn more than your man, it behooves you, it would behoove you to actually note that, hey, this does not equate to headship. Um, unfortunately now, in these days and in the crime that we are, yeah. we find people who are saying that, it, you know, uh, because I provide, I'll have to take the reins on, on certain things and all. Mm, no, but yeah. I heard a story when I was younger. In fact, I know um, this individual whose parents, his father was out of a job for the longest time. He never knew. Yeah. He'd always walk to his father and say, Daddy, I need this, I need that. And his father would always provide him with the money. Yeah. What do you need for school? Here, have it. What do you need for the here, have it. Yeah. It was only after he almost became an adult, I think when he was uh, uh, in his teens, that he discovered that his father never had a job all this while. Mm -hmm. It was actually his mother. Mm -hmm. But each time he needed something, his mother would say, Baba, take, take. give yeah. your son. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't let him know that it's coming from me. Because it not only affects the relationship between a man and a woman, it also affects how your children mm -hmm. grow up, how they relate to you, mm -hmm. how yeah. they see you. Mm -hmm. That respect that that woman's given to that man, mm -hmm she's going to get back a thousandfold from her kids. Yeah. They would appreciate her for it. That yeah. story still empowers me today, and I find it... I, I always tell it any chance I get. Yeah. So, Mazina, I'm just going to try and rush through some of the feedback I got okay. yesterday on the show. One person mentioned the fact that when she and her husband got married, uh, Precious, that um, her husband had almost nothing as a job. Mm. But she lost her job in 2020, a well-paying job. Mm -hmm. And the man, of course, had to take the reins and has been since then. Mm -hmm. So fancy not getting married to him, believing that, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. what if it was she and the man she eventually got and married to? Yeah, they both lost their jobs. That's one. Then another person was talking about the fact that the reality is many Nigerian men have this competitive thing when they don't have money. They feel, mm -hmm. I need to have more money than you. And so some of them, in frustration, begin to lash out at the woman. Mm -hmm. So no matter how submissive, no matter how loving, tolerant yeah. the woman might be, she might then be forced to do really crazy things out of frustration. Say, for example, your, your wife is the one paying all the bills and you're feeling incompetent. Instead of you to support mm -hmm. her, yeah. support you see every word. little thing, thing she does as, as she belittling you, mm -hmm. even when she has no such intention. So sure. conversations you both sure. used to have before sure. the 
you know, she making more money thing yeah. came up. Mm. It becomes a case of sensitivity. Yeah. And so the society will tell a woman in such a situation, oh, be patient, be patient. He's going through a lot. Yeah. But then we forget that when the tables are turned and it's the man who is going through a lot, trying to earn money for the family mm -hmm. and still having to deal with a nagging wife and a lot of other problems, the man isn't told to be, be patient. patient. He's always, he's always, it's still the woman being told that behave yourself. This man is stressed. Interesting submission. Look at, yeah, look, so, no, while the woman is being ignored that she's also being yeah. stressed. Mm. So there are so many different angles yeah. to this, especially with the word you used. You used the word tolerance. Yes. What uh, women can tolerate, a lot of men cannot tolerate. And then on the other hand, That's what the a lot of men can tolerate, a lot of women cannot Can I jump tolerate. on that real quick? Yeah. Yes. The reason why that is so is because of how we've been conditioned socially. Yes, be because of the fact well. that even especially now in urban societies, you find that people live their lives on this and that if you're not making up or matching up to everybody else or seem to be matching up as a man to your peer, yeah. it's a problem. Mm -hmm. It's just a thing of the mind. But yeah. you also use the word that I like, which is support. Yeah. It is the biggest what, even if you both have no money, zero money, yeah. as long as you both support each yeah. other, whether yeah. in terms of what you say, how you say it, where yeah. you say it, yes. to whom you say it, or who you let know what inside yes. of the family, how what you guys are going through, yeah. Yeah. that one word there is what saves the day. For me, it's three things. Communication, support, understanding. If Absolutely, those three you got it right. Are yeah. up Key. to par, you guys can conquer the world. It is Very what it true. is. So, yeah. And then, uh, of course, we have to go on a break now, but we're going to be, you know, touching on this on social media, of course. We'd love to hear your opinion yeah. on this. Make sure you use our hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC. Let's know what you think. Stay with us.